Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about Sulfo, the Kia spot, and I'm gonna explain what you need and how to get to the spot. So to get started, you wanna go to around Sulfo Works. If you have a if you have a compass, you can just start a path there. That's where I'm starting to work from, Pod Manager. Now, also if you have a compass, you can also press on this icon, on the sulfur icon, go to the deck here lantern, and then go to round sulfur. Here you can see the stats you need, make sure you are stats. You will need to press on this uh, refresh icon. And you want to make sure your stats are above 920 to make sure you hit the mobs. And max is 1k, though it's only 70%, so you can go over the cap, that's fine. But if you do go over the cap, you want to run Demi-Human, as this monster are Demi-Human. So Demi-Human will give you the most AP after 1k. And to get to the spot, just press on the arrow, and we're gonna walk to the lantern location basically from here. Now, the spot is a knockdown, so you want to make sure you run knockdown crystals. You want to make sure you have this 100% knockdown resistance in any way you can. You really don't want to get knocked down. Uh, the spot is actually a bit different mechanics from the others. Just walk into the spot again. You can just follow the other path and it will send you right to the deck yellow lantern spot. You don't need to do more than that. I'll fast forward a bit. Okay, when you are on the spot, you will see this thing. You, as usual, there is the Dekia icon above it. You just have to activate your Dekia lantern and then it will start. Now, as I said, it has few mechanics and the way they work is quite different from the other Valencia Dekia spots. So, basically, you have a yellow AOE, which is like a sulfur ground on the floor. You want to make sure to avoid it, it does some damage, it's not that awful to t get a hit by it, it's not bad, nothing will happen, I mean you take a bit of damage but that's about it. If you have the DP you will be fine. And other than the yellow AoE that you want to avoid, you have red AoE. Now the red AoE you want to make sure you never touch, uh, it can knock you down. And it does a lot of damage. You want to make sure you avoid the red AOE at all costs. Get out of it. Don't stay in it. No matter if you're geared or not. It really does a lot of damage. If you're uh, under geared, it can even one-shot you. And it also does a knockdown. So make sure you get out of the red AOE. And there's a purple AOE. The purple AOE is almost like the yellow. It doesn't do as much damage as the red. But it still does knockdown. So if you can, you'd want to avoid the... Purple AOE as well. Basically, you have the yellow, purple, and red AOE. You can kind of tank the yellow one. That's fine. Nothing bad for that one. Moving on, there's also a blue AOE. <coughs> it's like a small mini game. Um, the blue AOE will be around there. You want to take the blue AOE. Once you take the blue AOE. Basically what will happen is you get a buff for 60 seconds and the buff basically gives you a lot of damage against the mobs so you will want to kill the mobs. As you can see I'm taking the blue AOE but again you can see I have now a buff and when I do a skill I do a lot of damage to the mobs. Gives you attack speed. Gives you a lot of damage to the mobs. You basically can see I just killed them. 
and that's the blower UV so make sure you take the blower UV no reason not to I'll repeat and say avoid red UV at all cost it hits really really hard and that's most of the mechanics to the spot it's not too complicated the way I try to remember it is if it's not blue just don't step into it the mobs themselves don't need it out it's only about the red AOV and the uh, purple and yellow AOVs that does most of the damage here at least from what I experienced the mobs themselves don't end up doing too much As long as you have a AOV, you will be good. The yellow AOV, for example, I'm stepping on it. As you can see, it does some damage to me over time. Not really over time, but it's like 3 ticks of damage. No, you don't really need to dodge it unless you don't have that much gear. You can block it, kind of. It's not that dangerous, but if it's the purple, the purple can knock you down. So you don't want to stand on it, or you want to use 100% knockdown resistance. And the red will knock you down as well. And a lot of damage, so again, 100%. Make sure you dodge the red one, make sure you walk to the blue one. And then just enjoy the spot. Now, there are two bosses that can spawn here, and it's the Devour and the two car bosses. Now, as far as I know, most of the spots in um, Ekia can drop the Debo only from the bosses, so most likely it's the same here. I haven't gotten any Debo, but as you can see, this is the Devourer boss. Once you kill him, small Devourers will spawn as well. I do a bit of damage to him right now because I have the blue buff. It increases my damage. It's quite tanky. Other than that, it's just the same. You just DPS him as normal. They spawn 5 mini mobs. And that's about it. Good luck with the map or mobs or whatever you're here for. Hope you enjoy. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next one.